hello again. Hey, I realized after I finished up that video and took a look at it, uh, I forgot to include the most important part. I want to say a couple of words for everybody on how to recognize strokes because it appears that the clinic, when they evaluated me in August, did not recognize the sign of the stroke that I had had back then. So it took from August all the way until February to actually begin any kind of a stroke appropriate treatment. Um, so um, it appears that they, uh, they failed to recognize the signs of my stroke. Now, um, something that medical professionals have been trying to teach us for a long time is a, f um, a series of letters to help us remember what to do. And in the past, the letters have been F-A-S-T, fast. What do each of those letters mean? F is for face. Face drooping on one side. Doesn't matter which side. Arm weakness. Can't hold my arm up. Or the arm is like totally numb. Arm weakness. A for arm weakness. S. Slur speech. Can't find words all of a sudden. Speech is being slurred. T stands for time to call 911 or whatever your emergency number is in your country. So face drooping, doesn't matter which side. Arm weakness, uh, speech slurring. T, time to call 911. Now it turns out that's not the latest phrase. And I think the people at the clinic weren't properly schooled in the latest phrase. Turns out the latest phrase which actually comes from uh, Cincinnati, the Cincinnati Stroke Assessment Scale, um, which is now considered the gold standard for recognizing strokes. The new phrase is be fast, B-E-F-A-S-T. B stands for balance. Whoa, all of a sudden I'm just dizzy, I don't know why. E stands for eyes. I got one eye that, like, I don't know, like a problem all of a sudden. Just a sudden problem in my vision. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, slurred speech. Or sudden severe inability to find words, which is called aphasia. T, time to call 911. Be wise. Call 911. Call your emergency. Call the ambulance. Have yourself or other, your, your relative who you see this in, your friend, get them to the medical care. Because time lost is brain loss, is what they've told us for a long time. They now have clot buster drugs that can be given. If they're given within a very short time after the stroke, people can entirely recover with no brain loss. Now, your doctors will have to have you evaluate it because there are some significant risks. So, as they did me, they're going to really badger the person who's suspected of having a stroke. When exactly did the symptoms begin? And they need to be in the hospital pretty quickly afterwards for those clot busters to have a chance to work, to be worth some incredible risks that come with them. Um, but... Um, you know, when I experienced this emergency room visit, within minutes, they treat it like having a heart attack. Because heart attacks and strokes are a very similar mechanism. Blood flow is getting interrupted to the heart or to the brain. And they need to deal with that interruption as soon as possible or tissue is lost. So, I want to remind everybody, beware... Um, I'll send a, I'll send a link maybe tomorrow to the family channel, to remind everybody real cool video that I found on recognizing strokes. You might've already seen it. I just love the video so much. 
That's a cartoon, actually. Be fast. Uh, balance, eyes, face drooping, arm weakness, slurred speech. Time to call 911. So be live, be well, be healthy.